to my channel. It is your favorite girl, A. Marie. So today in this entrepreneur lifestyle vlog video, I want to show you guys how I came up. Well, not how I came up. How I made my glosses. In this video, I believe I'm making Love Me Not Gloss, Romance, and I think that's it. Love Me Not and Romance. So I'm using the 10 ml tubes and you guys see me loading up my dry rose petals um my son just came to me and showed me that somebody was on the site so i love when i see people on my site y'all get on my site right now and if you have a site go ahead and list your business down below in the comment section so that we all can support each other. Um, I did wash my hands, sanitize my hands with my AMV Glam, my AMV Glam Tizer, and I did put on some gloves. Now these rose petals came from Amazon. They are real dry rose petals, and sometimes even though they they're small, it's still hard to get them inside of the tube. So y'all see me using the pipette to shove it down some. But I really wanted to fill the tubes up with the roses so that you guys could see, you know, get the real feel of a full tube of roses. I don't know. I just love the way the roses look in it. And some of the, in some of the Love Me Nots lip glosses, I did put 24K, edible 24K flakes in it, but you guys, the one that I ordered from Amazon was a small bottle and them flakes are super hard to put in the tubes so I didn't get to put 24k flakes into every single one of them because the jar was small and literally it didn't come with a lot of flakes in it so it was like almost pointless. So I am using castor oil, fractionated coconut oil, grapeseed oil, and this is this video is before I actually got like my other oils, my mineral oils, preservatives, and all that from TKB Trading. So now in my newer glosses, I do use TKB Trading's mineral oil. I think it's called Polyus Butane and preservative oils and all that so I will be remaking I be I will be <laughs> y'all this is just how the voiceovers go I do not edit the voiceovers nor do I start over but I will be making more love me nots and romances because you guys have bought those up I think I have like maybe four left of each but I will be making it with the newer oils in it um in the romance lip gloss i did add glitter silver holographic glitter to it um but the love me not doesn't have glitter in it so basically what y'all see me doing right now is mixing and i got this um i think it's called like a betty crocker spatula it's a silicone spatula from the dollar tree and it has a big side and a little side to it and I love the way these spatulas work and I am using a glass bowl um so yeah I'm just gonna mix 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 and I did want these kind of on the looser side because for some reason you guys kind of like the lip glosses that are more loose but I like mine more thick but that's me versus what the customers want so I did make these on the looser side but I think when I go to remake Let Me Not and Romance it will be a thicker consistency but so many people since I've been making glosses prefer the looser gloss for some reason I don't know why that's not my cup of tea but it is y'all cup of tea and I'm doing what y'all want so <laughs> I had to go with what the people are telling me on social medias so if you guys are not following me on my social media, make sure for sure to go follow my business page on Instagram at 
A-M-B lavish underscore. I'm trying to get to at least 500 followers on there. But right here, y'all see me cutting the pipette. And I wanted to try this ordeal where everybody says that it's easier to suck up your gloss into the tube before placing your pipette on and it's supposedly easier but to me honestly you guys that's not easier because nobody says that the pipettes slip off after the fact of you sucking up all the gloss in the tubes and it just makes it easy to slip off so here i am filling it up and with the rose petals you guys i have to squeeze 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 so that all of the gloss will get in on the bottom and throughout the tube so that y'all won't be missing no lip gloss nowhere it won't be no empty spaces at all and what i did notice with this is that because this gloss is on the more looser side when i laid them down to the side to fill up the next one I realized because the gloss is loose it was wasting out of the tube so you guys are gonna see me go back and close up those glosses but as you see the 24k flakes are in there I showed you guys that <clears throat> but filling up rose petal glosses is harder than what you guys think unless I'm just absolutely too new to it <laughs> It's just, it, it is just a little bit harder than what everybody makes it look like on YouTube. But I thought it would be fun to show you guys how I fill up the lip glosses. And that's where y'all see me like, uh-uh, it's wasting out. So let me go ahead and close them up as I'm filling them up because it will waste the hell out. And I do have them separated from Love Me Not versus Romance so that it won't get mixed up. But I'm filling up all the Love Me Nots first. And then I don't even know if I showed you guys that I added glitter to Romance. But I'm going to go back and add So here I am just going ahead and filling the tube up the normal way that I always do it so that it's, it, it's more easier to me, you guys. to have bubbles in none of my lip glosses that is another struggle <laughs> of my life I try not to have no bubbles but sometimes it happens so I do apologize but I'm still learning Y 
y'all my son says hi and he also says in every video don't forget to like comment subscribe and he always swears up and down my videos are sponsored <laughs> So there is lovely knot looking super pretty y'all my cousin came up with the name of lovely knot and also I always do samples anytime I make gloss just in case if you guys want to purchase sample glosses before actually getting the squeeze tube or wand so my samples are 50 cents and then I will be introducing wholesale samples but those are going to be like a certain color for wholesale but these samples like something like this that I'm making it is just 50 cents just in case if y'all want to test out the glosses before actually purchasing a squeeze tube or a wand tube so that's all y'all see me doing and I probably shouldn't put the flowers in there but I wanted it to go along with everything else that I was doing um, but I'm just gonna fill up and I honestly don't even remember how many tubes I filled up but I thought it would be satisfying and fun for you guys to watch me fill up tubes and make glosses so hopefully you guys are enjoying it don't forget to like comment and subscribe share this video with your friends Make sure to comment down below your business, Instagram, website, Facebook, whatever you have. And make sure to go and shop a and Lavish right now. I always have sales going on as well as I'm always adding new products to the website. So make sure y'all go check me out and comment down below if y'all want more videos like this. And in the words of my loyal subscriber, y'all keep shining and I will catch y'all in the next one. Deuces.